she's not quite got her. she's got her sides but she just doesn't know when to stop because there's not many jobs where you can take your kid to work oh, oh, Good morning sheep fans, Cammy's the name, sheep's the game, it's not morning, it is the afternoon, I have had a terrible day today. Where did we start? Well first of all, I went to lift lambs for the market, got them loaded and I was halfway to the market when this happened. Blew a tyre, so smoke everywhere, everyone flashing, going crazy, had to pull in, take the tyre off, it's lying in here, wait and I'll show you. The trailer's a little bit dirty now, we're just back from market. Oh, that was jaggy, don't do that. Oh. There you go, proper blowout, so quite a good tyre as well. I'll need to get that fixed. That's what you get when you run it a bit soft, aka flat. And worst of it is, for some reason, the store lamb trade, so store lambs are lambs that you're selling that aren't quite finished, for some reason, the store lamb trade just totally crashed today. The prices were way, way back on what they were, so I actually brought all my lambs home again. I'm not in a desperate need to sell them at the moment. It would just be good to free up some cash, but we can wait a little while longer and just hope the trade comes back. And I don't, when I say the trade's back, I don't mean it was back just, you know, a few pounds. It was massively back, like 20, 30 pounds per head. So I'm gonna hold on to the lambs and see what happens after Christmas. So what are we doing this afternoon? Well, until I let Fern out, we did have all the sheep standing here, ready to come in down the bottom. We're going to doze some. I'm quite embarrassed. Am I embarrassed? A little bit embarrassed to say I haven't even finished doing all my first fluke dozes. It has been a very late fluke year though, and this is the last lot to do. So they'll be getting a fluke dose. For anyone who's new to the channel, liver fluke is a real issue for us here in the west of Scotland and most of the UK because we're so wet, we're so mild. The mud snail is a host for the liver fluke parasite and little wet bits like this you have behind me here where the sheep will graze and maybe drink from, they pick up liver fluke and it works its way into the liver and absolutely destroys the liver. And that's when you'll start to see sheep getting what's like bottle jaw where they get fluid built up under the jaw and many other issues will go very lean, they'll start, their ears will start dropping, they'll just become generally a sick sheep which is what we don't want. Now these sheep look good, but we'll find out when we get our hands on them. But before I can do anything, we need Lizzie to be here with the pens, so let's just... <laughs> Did you just wake up, Jock? Oh! There's a job on. It's okay. Oh, sorry to be weak. <laughs> what are you saying? Mm. What are you saying, boy? Did you have a good swim? <coughs> oh no! Aww. It's okay. What's that strange black thing <gasps> in your face? Hi. Hi. Who's that? Meg. You never remember Meg, hey, probably. What about this then, sheep fans? What are you saying? Boys on tour. Mum's doing all the hard work. I'll just carry joke. Mum can do all the running around. So let's find where the sheep are, try and keep control of Fern, and then I'll tell you a little bit about them. So this bit of ground is my never finished fencing bit of ground. I've done just about the whole perimeter with net over the last few years. But this last stretch, last hundred meters maybe, is the only bit I haven't done. Just because it's so awkward with this hedge. And of course this is the bit the sheep have decided to break through. So they're now over on my neighbour's bit of ground, Mr Love. What a gem he is. Just told him I'll square him up for the winter grazing. It'll be easier than trying to fix this fence that they have absolutely trashed. That's one thing about sheep folks. They're hard to keep in. Cattle are easy, a couple of plain wires. And that right, Jock? Right, how do we go over here while carrying the baby? So Lizzie is away running in the background here. Somewhere, she's just going in a little dip. She's away running to get the sheep, who know fine well what they're doing. They've went to the furthest away point, like we saw in that last video when we were trying to bring the Shetlands in. These are mules though, they're a lot easier to work with, but they're still sheep, they're absolute rascals. And Jock's just having a little wind movement there, Jock, was that good? 
There's a good vibration off it, boy. What's that camera? Who's that in the camera? Can you see yourself? Oh, yeah. Lie down. Hello, Meg. Come by. Hello, Fern. She's got a wee bit to learn yet. Hey, what's all the shouting? Oh, you know that camera's there, eh? You know what's happening. You're just you're just getting the hang of it. You'll be vlogging in no time. Take the pressure off Dad. So this batch of sheep here are due to lamb at the end of February. Most of them, the purple bums. Anyway, hopefully. So we'll just try to take our time with them. Nice casual stroll down. Lizzie's stopping them breaking through a hole in the fence that they know is over there and they always like to break through. A nice little Friday evening job. Set us up for the weekend. They're looking really fit, really fit. They look in lamb. Actually, they're getting to that stage now where they look like in lamb yows. Lie down. As he does the running on that side. It's really handy having three of them, uh, but it's just keeping control of them all. Steady there, Lizzie. Steady. Steady. Stand. Stand. She just, just doesn't quite, she's not quite, get her. she's got her sides, but she just doesn't know when to stop. That's, that's actually a fact. <laughs> Meg, where are you going? Lie down. Hey. Lovely Meg. Come here. Lie down. Take the pressure off. Fern's embarrassing you here. So here's another interesting thing whilst we're just walking these sheep in. A good friend of mine said the other day, talking about YouTube and stuff, he says, you know, he's from the town, not farming background. He says, oh, really interesting watching all the stuff you're doing. You really sound like you know what you're talking about. I don't really, not in terms of general farming. I know about sheep and these type of sheep that I run and the job that I'm doing, but I don't know much about things like, you know, fertilizers, soils. I know nothing about cattle. There's loads of farming I don't. I just know about this niche little thing that I do. And I made the point to him that I'm 31 and a lot of people my age have been maybe left school at 16 and went to do an apprenticeship. So they've been at their job for 15 years. Whereas I've been at this job since I was that age. You know, like, so 31 years experience, roughly. Okay, you can say, right, the first couple of years, I was just finding my feet, literally. But you pick up things even at this young age, you know, you start to learn about being with dogs, you know, commands for dogs, at different types of sheep, how to balance sheep. A big one, you notice, if I work with people who don't know livestock is they never stand in the right place and that's just something that starts getting ingrained to you as a small child mainly for me it was mainly my dad saying get out of there <laughs> you're in the wrong bit stand in the right bit but it's little things like that you start picking up when you're young so by the time you know you're my age at 31 you have a whole lifetime of experience doing this and that's quite unique to farming i think there will be other jobs that i just can't really think of just now but farming that is definitely a unique thing because there's not many jobs where you can take your kid to work and share these experiences with them. Look, it's just amazing. Do you see the sheep joke? Do you see the sheep? Shh, shh, shh. Hello, Meg. Hello, Meg fatties. Hello, Meg. Hello, Meg. Well, I tell you, these were needing their tails done, weren't they? We lie down. Lie down. Yeah, I think I've got it, yeah. How you doing, Meg? No, you're right, 100%. Right, how are you doing, Fern? Oh, plenty of space. Right, just steady, steady, steady. Outside. Outside. steady. Steady. Hey, Sean, Jock. Hiya, you had a good time with Dad. Love you. <laughs> Love you. Oh, that's the way to get a smile. That's how I feel too, Jock, when I see Mum. <laughs> hey. Hard the joke, hard the joke. The 
fit. Oh, it's some fit. I thought there would be some grass up in here. These here, they were 70 pounds, the green tags. 70, 70, 70. Uh, these are home bred. The orange tags are all home bred, gimmers. Uh, green tags are home bred, cheap at new. Uh, are those orange tags gimmers or one crop yours? One crop. The green, one crop. The green ones are gimmers. Like green are gimmers. Okay, they're one crop yours. Good job, Lizzie's here. The, the orange tags are one crop used, so they lambed last year as gimmers. They'll be coming to have the second crop here. And these. Definitely the biggest flaw with this uh, handling system is the race is too short. The back gates are fine, they never jump over them. But the race is just a fraction too short. As in, could be higher, not the length, the height. Home, homebred cheese meal gimmer. Cheese meal gimmer. They're absolutely still mad. Let me see a hand here. Yeah, right. Is that, is that front? I'll stand at the front. Aye, I'm doing before the run. Doing the journey. Did we keep a count? 14 out there. Oh, there. Oh, oh, James. I'm just standing at the I'm just standing at the front of them just to try and stop them jumping out. How cheap that, isn't it? Now, a really important thing to point out here is that although Lizzie is dosing them with a Flukiver bottle, it's actually Fasinex that's in the bottle. It's just that Fasinex has a really stupid end on it. My opinion, I don't like it. Maybe you guys do, but the Flukiver end is far better. So we can get our dosing gun on it. So we just pour the Fasinex into the Flukiver bottle. We all do it. You know you do. Hey, we've all done it, eh? We've all done it. Oh. We ran out of dozing stuff, so we'll just wait for my sister to come so we can get these finished. And we let that top out, didn't we? Oh, I know, Joe, we let the top out. I can't believe it. We brought the trailer to bring the top home and we let them out. We'll get them when we scan them. That was silly, wasn't it? These things happen. So, as I said, we ran out of dozing stuff there and we're now waiting on my sister dropping it off. She actually has just dropped it off, but I was just live on TikTok at the same time. How cool is that? Here's some of the people that are on it just now. There we go. The worst thing about GoPros when the light starts to fade is the quality gets absolutely terrible. So I better just tell Lizzie to go a bit faster. Could you go a bit faster, Lizzie? Thank you. So the light is starting to fade. Sheep fans, I appreciate the quality of the footage really drops on these GoPros when it gets dark, but we finally got my sleep. Look at this. Wee man's just chilling. And mum, glorious mum. Excuses tonight then, you can get him to sleep now. Has done a good job dozing these sheep. These monster sheep, yeah, that one's to be done. And then, oh, watch yourself, watch your back. These all done. Oh, oh steady lass. Don't break a leg. Some fat, all the sheep are in. Yeah, some big brutes. On you go, girls. Size of that That's enough. Oh, no, dude. Oh, I'm good. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Wow, 
one of those awkward ones you want to lunge forward and you're like oh that's right i've got a child here just this one to do then these four pets are coming home and that's us right i'll put i'll put the camera down help lizzie do this and we'll get finished for the night it's starting to get dark another little day in the life a bit of work we're doing uh, jock sound asleep just could like living an absolute dream here and i'm glad i can share it with all you guys thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and we'll see you for the next one sheep fans <laughs> How you doing? There we go, so just like that, and uh, Lizzie looks like she's about ready again. The worst thing about working, I'm talking to uh, vlog camera and you guys at the same way, I'll put it, put it like next to each other. Oh, there you go.